Hey YouTube, LG 5K ultra fine board here. As you can see, the model 2016. Uh, another issue, another issue I found, especially specifically on this one. I haven't seen this before. So if you have a known good Thunderbolt 3 port on it, but it doesn't detect the cable at all. So it does not charge the MacBook or iPad, whatever you're using with it. And so no signs whatsoever. You plug it in, you wiggle it, you know, a little bit, don't wiggle it too much. And if you have no contact on the Thunderbolt 3 port, but you do have a contact on USB 3 port, USB, USB C ports, then take a look at this resistor I just found. It's located pretty close to Thunderbolt controller, a little bit higher. So this is resistor R118. This is blown. As you can see, this resistor is blown. Okay, let me check the value real quick and see what is shown here. It's like going over 300 kilo ohms and let me check on a good board. What it's supposed to be approximately. This is not the correct value. I'll have to remove it. Oh, this is, I mean, this is, this supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be zero ohm. So this is, this is zero ohm resistor. Okay, so check this resistor and replace it if necessary. I'll just uh, let me see, make sure I don't have no ground because this board kind of works, but it's just not detecting the connection. Yeah, there's no shorter ground on both of these pins. So there is no, it's not grounded. None of the, none of the pins of the resistor are grounded. So the reason I'm talking about, uh, I'm, I'm telling that it kind of works is, uh, is if you press this button, hold the button and plug in the power port, power, uh, the, uh, the AC cord, it starts flashing uh, colors. So the motherboard, does work so once again if you have no connection whatsoever on the thunderbolt free port check this resistor also check i already bridged that resistor also check this q102 i'm going to put it in a diode mode so you can hear the beep because this is shorted completely shorted on these pins and on a good board as you can see yep so completely different behavior so check that one also make sure replace uh, this MOSFET because this MOSFET is out I don't know like if this chip is good or not but I'm kind of doing one thing at a time I don't have no schematics so I'm replacing and testing so this resistor and the MOSFET is shorted so I'm going to replace the MOSFET sure. everything is working now success so after replacing i mean i just bridged this uh, resistor r118 and replacing uh, this mosfet which is aon 7200 uh, i got it from the working board i'm, I'm gonna replace it I, I'm, i'll order it that working board is has some issues some other issues with the connector so i'm not too worried about it but anyway this uh this repair was a success. The two elements went out on it and obviously the port. So these elements are located a little bit 
higher from the Thunderbolt controller Q102 R118 if you have that issue you can replace this and hopefully it will work and obviously the port I replaced the port as well because it actually came without the port at all so someone was messing with the port thinking that it's a port that's causing the issue but it was not the port actually but thank you very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to help me grow my channel have a lovely day bye